then your grace and mercy draw us through. Thank you, Jesus. I want to say hello to everyone. And we hope everyone is doing great this afternoon hour. This is your brother, your host of Chatting from the Word. And we hope everyone is having had a good morning, you had a good breakfast, and are uh, having a good afternoon, you had a good lunch, and you're ready for some more nutrition from God's Word here, from Chatting from the Word. We are so delighted to be with you today, and we hope that you feel the same. We hope that you've been ready to hear Brother Oscar here on Chatting from the Word. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, we hope that you're ready for a good program. But we, as we always say, try to put a snap in your Christian walk. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Trying to put a snap in your Christian walk. And trying to show you, trying to let you know that we as Christians can have all the joy in the world. Although with this coronavirus going around, many are getting sick and many are dying. The only thing we can do as Christians is to pray to our Father and hoping that uh, everything will be all right. Because I'm a believer that our Lord is in control. Not the president, not the Senate, not the congressman, not the governor, not the mayor. But our Father is in control of it all. Isn't that what, what, what he said in Matthew 28? What he said. In verse 18, the Bible says, Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power in heaven and all power in, is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the world or of time. Praise the Lord. So our Lord, if we allow him, has full, full control. All right, we are so blessed. The Lord has blessed us all with another day, uh, another beautiful morning. Uh, we are on this side of heaven. We are so blessed that the Lord has created this day for you and for me. You and I had nothing to do with it. But just like what David said in Psalm 1824, For this is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be uh, glad in it. I don't know about you, my friends, but I am going to rejoice, and I am going to be glad in it. Thanking him for another day, thanking him for waking me up, seeing another, to see another beautiful day. Thanking him for giving all of us a second chance, another chance to make it right with him, another chance to walk closer. And closer with him. It is just a blessing, my friends, to be able to see this day. And I believe we all can say what the psalmist says in Psalm 103, verse 1 and 2. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And forget not all his benefits. We here in Minesburg, Ohio, we are doing, doing great. We are doing just wonderful. Although we are, uh, we are having some dreadful weather 
uh, on the outside. But if you know what Brother Oscar says, it can be cutting up on the outside. It can be awful on the outside. But as long as we have the Son of God, we have sunny days every day because we have the Son of God. Amen and amen. We have another wonderful show for you on tap. We really do. Our song for this program today will be United of Houston, Texas. Walk around heaven uh, all day. And then we will have a message. And our message again will be coming from Romans 6, 12 through 23, and Hebrews 8, 5 through 13, and Hebrews 9, 14 through 19. And our subject is under grace. And what we are going to do today is compare being under the law with being under grace. So when we get to that point of the program, have your Bibles ready and turn to the scriptures, turn to first Rome first Romans six, and then put your finger in the book of Hebrews because that's where we will be coming from on today's or from uh, with today's message. So when we get to that point, be ready to study along with your brother here, brother Oscar York. So my friend, just get relaxed. Go have a cup of your favorite beverage, coffee, tea, milk, juice, uh, a Coca-Cola, uh, your soft drink, and just relax. Sit down in your reclining chair. But if you don't want to sit in your reclining chair, sit in your couch. Just stretch on out on your couch. Now, if you don't want to just stretch out on your couch, just stretch out on the floor. While you listen to your brother here, Brother Oscar York, from Chatting from the Word. Now, if you're driving, keep your eyes on the road. But keep on listening to your brother here. Brother Oscar York. Now, if you're in the gym trying to get the muscles all lean and lean, if you know what I'm talking about, keep on exercising. But keep your earbuds on while you're listening to your brother here, Brother Oscar York. Amen and amen. All right, all right, all right. We will be right back after these messages all right all right we're back we're back and we're glad to be back and we are so blessed to be with you today and and we are so blessed to bring you this program in the midst of this coronavirus with everyone uh staying sheltered at home and they can't go to many places because of the spread of this disease is just a good time my friends, just to have your station tuned in to Chatting from the Word. We come on live from Facebook and also YouTube. So if you want to catch us live, if you want to be with Brother Oscar live, go to my our, our page on Facebook, Chatting from the Word, hosted by Oscar York dash Oscar York Publishing dot com. And then you can go to YouTube also and catch Brother Oscar live okay but as promised our first our only selection for this program today will be united of houston texas walk around heaven all day walk around heaven all day here we here we go walk around heaven all day.
this on around here. Good job, everybody in Houston, Texas. See, what you all don't know, and maybe some of you do, Houston is my hometown, and I am so proud. And that was Walk Around Heaven all day. And my friends, that should be all of our goals. We are in the body of Christ. Our goal should be after we leave this earth, when the Lord calls us home, we should be heaven bound and ready to walk around heaven all day. I don't know about you, but it's my goal. What about yours? All right, all right, all right. Let me remind our listeners that you are listening to Chatting from the Word with your host, Brother Oscar York, on the Sparica platform, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting a snap in your Christian walk. Yes, we are. And we are black. Wow, wow. Give it. We are very glad to be. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. This is our prayer time, and we um want to say that. At a time like this, we need all the Christians who can have a little talk with the Lord, to talk with Him. We are in His body. Uh, we need to say a prayer at this time for the you, this, this world we're living in is, is going through some troubled times at Right now, with the corona uh, virus, and many are contracting it, and many are dying. It seems like every day is always a a new number to add to the list of those that have passed on. And if you ask Brother Oscar, and I think I I, I I talked about it the other day. I believe that God. Our Father is trying to send us a message, and some of us are not getting it, while others are. And you're dealing with someone here that's getting the message. The Lord wants us to, to get our house in order and to live for Him. And if this coronavirus is not a message, I don't know what it is. It's a message, my friends. Because our Lord is coming back soon. And your your host here believes that. I truly know that he's coming back soon. So, uh, during this prayer time, we want to pray for those that uh, contracted the coronavirus and those that lost loved ones. So, if you have a prayer request that you want Brother Oscar to pray for here on Chatting from the Word... You can email it to me. My email address is lowercase Oscar York three four four three at gmail dot com. But if you're listening to us live, you can go to the chat room and put your prayer request there. No one's there yet. That's fine. Maybe tomorrow you may not tomorrow because we come on tomorrow evening. But you still can do that tomorrow. Let's just live and Monday next Monday. You can also listen to it live. So we hope that many of you begin to start listening uh, to us live. And you all that are listening to us live at this time, we do appreciate that. But this is our prayer time. And if you have a prayer re request, you can, oh, excuse me, you can email it to me. My email address again is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com or if you listen to us live you can go to the chat room and put it in our chat room uh, before we approach the throne of grace 
I would like to read from Philippians 4, beginning with verse 5. Here, Paul writes, Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. And thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Will you pray with me, please? Our Father, which art in heaven, Father, we recognize that you are a merciful and loving God. While at the same time, you can be holy and you can be reverent. Oh, Father, we come just thanking you, Father, for allowing us to see another day, a day which we never seen before, a day that none of us had nothing to do with. But, Father, you allow us to see another day so that we can get it right with you and, and walk closer and closer with you. So, Father, we thank you so much for that. We thank you, Father, for allowing your only begotten Son, Jesus, to come down on this cruel world to show us how to live for you and to die on the cross, showing his love for us. For taking our place, becoming sin, so far that we may free, be free from sin. Oh, Father, we come praying for this universe in which we live, this world in which we live. Everywhere is coronavirus, everywhere, Father, many are contracting it, contacting it, contracting it, and many are dying, Father, we just want to pray and talk with you about it at this time, Father. For those that have lost loved ones to this coronavirus, Father, we pray that you be with them and allow them to know that their loved ones was in the body of Christ. Everything, everything will be all right in their heading to their heavenly home. Oh, Father, just... Just be with us. Be with the president and his cabinet. Allow them to do what's right, Father. Allow them to make the right decision when it come to its citizens. So that we may be confident. So that we may be able to live in peace and in harmony. Oh, Father, we come praying for each listener that's on the sound of my voice. Father, we pray that you be with each and every one of them. Allow them to know that they are going through some heartache, some troubles, some storms. But all they need to know is to keep their eyes on you and to keep their hands in your unchanging hands. Oh, Father, we come praying for our program here, chatting from the word. Father, we pray that you help us to Keep it on the air. Father, help us to be a light in every community we are heard in. Oh, Father, we come praying for the message under grace. Help us that we may say something to help someone uh, that is that, that needs you right now. Help someone that needs to be in the body of Christ. Help someone to walk closer and closer with you. In Jesus' blessed name, do we pray. Amen and amen. I first want to thank you for praying along with your brother here. And we hope that we prayed for something that was on your minds. All right, all right, all right. We will be right back after these messages. All right, all right, we're back, we're back, and we're, we're glad that we're back. 
All right, now we just want to talk with you about the program by listening to our program here on Chatting from the Word. Now, Brother Oscar, know your love. And show your love by listening to Brother Oscar here on Chatting from the Word. Now, and while you're listening to us, follow us here on Chatting from the Word. Like us and share this show with your friends, with your loved ones, with your neighbors. And I believe this would be a good tool if you have someone in your family that you want to lead to Christ. Because, my friends, in the condition that the world is in today, I would, I would, I would gather that you want your loved ones to be in Jesus Christ. This is one of the reasons why I'm glad I have this program, so I can help others to see Jesus Christ. So, Follow us here. Be a part of Chatting from the Word. Allow your loved ones to listen to the program. You listen to the program. Share the program when you listen to it to others that you may have on Facebook and other entities that you are a part of. And talk about Talk about it. Have a conversation about Chatting from the Word. Now, if you want to help us financially, that would be great. I do have an account on PayPal, and if you uh, pull, uh, download the PayPal web page, once it's downloaded, uh, look us up. I believe it's under my email address, which is lowercase, Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com, and any amount of money or change you put in will be helpful. Now, if you ever want to talk with your brother, email me first. Don't call me because I don't know your number. I might not pick up the phone. I know I'm not. <laughs> so don't call me. Email me first. And I said, my email address is lowercase, oscaryork3443 at gmail.com. And we do have a page on, on Facebook, which is Chatting from the Word, hosted by Oscar York, that's Oscar York Publishing. Dot com. Visit that page and you can watch the, listen to the latest program, and that would be this program here. So visit Oscar York, uh, visit Chatting from the Word with your host, uh, your brother Oscar York dash Oscar York Pugsy on Facebook and enjoy the program. And we also got a web page. Our web page address is oxyorkpublishing.com. And you can leave a line up to there. But while you're on our web page, your brother here has authored two books. My first book is A Peaceful Place in the Storms, God is in Control, with Self for 2150. And my second book, which is Bridges of Friendships, which also sell for twenty one fifty and if you want to purchase both books, both books are forty three dollars. Now do that after you listen to the program. Go to Oscaryorkpublishing dot com and order you a book. Now you know what my motto is when you read you get knowledge and with knowledge comes power. Power power Yes it does. It comes power so go visit oxyarpublishing.com and order you a book and read now internet networks that we come on are Parchaser, Deezer, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Google Podcasts, CastBox, Podcast Addicts, Sparica, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you desire a direct link, go to your Google Player App Store and download the Sparica Podcast app. And once you have it downloaded, look for us, Chatting from the Word, with your host, Brother Oscar. And once you find us, put us in your favorite. So when 2 o'clock come, Monday through Fridays, and 7 p.m. on Saturday evening, you can be ready to listen to a wonderful wonderful program with your brother here, Brother Oscar York. Now, the music that we play here on Chatting from the Word, we do not own the copyrights or none of them. But what we want to suggest that you do is support these fine artists that we do play here on Chatting from the Word. The key word is support, support, support. Go buy their CDs and go hear them in concert. 
and let them know that you heard that song here on Chatting from the Word. We hope that you've been enjoying the program to this point, and we hope that we are putting a snap in your Christian walk. All right, all right, all right. We will be right back after these messages. All right, all right, we are back, we're back, and we're glad to be back, and we hope that you feel the same. Now, for our lesson, we want you, first of all, to turn with me to the book of Romans. And we still are in chapter six, uh, 6 of the book of Romans, the letter that Apostle Paul wrote to the Roman Christians. Now, that's a point. That is a very important point to make. These uh, these people that Paul is addressing, these Roman citizens that Paul is addressing this letter to, are a member of the body of Christ, and that is a very important point uh, to bring out. And in verse fifteen. Paul said, What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey his servants you are, to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness? But God be thanked that ye were the servants of sin, but you have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered you. And what we want to do is compare the two, the law and being under grace. So quickly turn with us to the book of Hebrews. And we want to come from, I believe we, 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 he had been hitting on the, the book of Hebrews for a couple of days now. And I think I point out to uh, point out to you yesterday, if you was with listen to the program yesterday, some some important facts here about uh, first of all by Hebrews eight, five to thirteen. And I just want to skim it for a little while. We ain't gonna stay too long because time would not permit that. But uh let me see, yeah, 5 through 13. And I just want you to look at some very vital points here. The Hebrew writer said, Who serve unto the example, and this is verse 5, a shadow of heavenly things, as Moses was admonished of God when he was about to make the tabernacle. For she said he, that I make all things according to the pattern shewed to thee on the mount. We want to, you to recognize that here the Hebrew writer first says here the shadow of heavenly things, and what he means here he 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 means basically the image of heavenly things, and what you got to recognize what the uh, Moses received on Mount Sinai was an image; it wasn't the real thing; it was just an image. And I believe many people do have a problem with images. So what 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 Moses received wasn't the real thing. It was just an image. And then he said to to, to another important point that Brother Oscar wanna make here to see ye that I make things all things According to the pattern, show it to the other mouth. Our Lord has always been a God that is doing things a certain way. Even much in the beginning of time, when He created the heavens and earth, when He put, when He created the sun and moon, our Father before time had a certain pattern that He did things. Uh, uh, that He did things, but uh, what did He do things? And here in verse 60, but now has he obtained a more excellent ministry. Oh, my friends, since Jesus Christ died on the cross, and this is what the Hebrew writer is talking about. Since he died on the cross, 
now we have an excellent ministry. It's not just an image anymore, but this is the real thing. You understand what Brother Oscar was trying to say here? And then he said, by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant. When we look at the word covenant, we, we, we look at the word covenant, that simply means an agreement. And if I can put it in late in law <laughs> in long terms, in a long month's term, in the long term of today, a contract. Are a testament, and usually when somebody is under a contract, that contract uh, obligate them to keep that contract. Even when you when you uh, buy a house or you rent an apartment, you are under a lease or a contract to do certain things, and if you don't do that certain things. The person, the other person that you made the contract with can break it. You must keep the contract. In, in, in so many words, when Moses received the, the, the image of shadow things, of, of, of shadow things, which was the law, which was an image, Israel could not keep the contract. So Israel broke the contract in the beginning. No one, no one could not live by the law because they just couldn't. Israel broke the law, okay, which was breaking the contract, which they broke the covenant, and they broke the agreement that they had with God. So, once the contract is broken, and I want you to know this, and this is my last point for today. God the Father loves us so much, they said, now it's time for the real thing. He said, now I, I need to make another contract with my people. I need to make another agreement with my people, one that they surely can keep. All right, we're going to end it right there. We hope that you are understanding what grace is all about, our being under grace. Because the world is going through, when it comes to things like grace, uh, they are confused. And we hope that we are clarifying some things when it comes to to grace. All right, all right, all right. We must say our goodbye, and we hate to say our goodbyes. And no brother Oscar, we, he loves you so much, and he's so glad that you're listening in Mondays to Fridays at two. And we are so glad to keep audience with you and to uh, learn this lesson of grace with you and to play a beautiful song. So we must say our goodbyes. Will you pray with me, please? Our Father, which art in heaven, the law be thy name, Father. We thank you for the time we have to spend with each listener, Father. We hope that each listener have a good afternoon, have a good evening, and a good night, and they sleep tight. And if you bless them with tomorrow, let them recognize that it's a blessing just to be alive for one more day. Now, Father, may the grace of God, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest ruling by with us until. We meet again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. And as always, it was nice chatting with you today. From chatting. From the word goodbye. We hope all have a wonderful, wonderful day.